Hello. Welcome. Hello. Welcome. Hello. <laughs> it is a lovely Sunday morning. It's fall, basically. When does fall actually start? I think late September. Hmm. Is that when daylight savings? I never remember which one is it ends fall begins. Fall back is coming up. It's so in September. So we are in Pacific daylight time, and that yeah. So we're going. We will it fall ends. back. Right, that's right. It ends. Right. Uh, it must be a Sunday because I have chosen my Harry Potter shirt. <laughs> you put your uniform on. Anytime, I, yes, right. If I'm like getting ready for the day and I'm like, oh, we're doing the podcast uh -huh. and I see the shirt, it's like an instant choice. There it is. Got to get it. Yep, Winnie Jeff has is a puppy. Uh, on the left. We've mixed oh, up the uh, the setup here. We got our chairs instead of the couch. I didn't want to push the couch over, so I was like, I'll just use the chairs, there Winnie. No, no, it's not. <laughs> it's not playtime. It's not playtime. Oh my gosh, yes, it is playtime. Oh my made, goodness. It's made a decision. <laughs> if you're watching the we video. We might have to revert back to the couch next week. <laughs> oh, sweetheart. Okay. Well, this is this is Winnie's spot. This now. is life with Winston. He is just a baby. He is the baby is. He has successfully moved from my chair to your chair. <laughs> it was very skilled. It was very skilled. Very skilled. We got some coffee. I got some Oscar the Grouch mug. Mm. I don't do mornings, thank mm -hmm, you. Mm -hmm. Even when it's eleven a.m., I'm still not uh, happy. <laughs> Hi, baby. Yeah, and a nice sip. Yeah, this is the puppy show. It is, <laughs> this yeah. This is the puppy show. Okay. No, Forget the this chapter. Is not... We got Winston. <laughs> no, he does this. He like, okay, he's sharing my literal, you know, the size of a desk chair. This is the space that I have, which yeah, usually. Yeah, hot dogs in there. Yes. And so then he pushes his butt back to get behind my back and because he has no space. But you know why, Winston? This is not made for puppies. You have a super comfortable bed down there <laughs> anyway hello hi, hi 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 what a what a weekend so we it's three day weekend for both of us which oh is yeah lovely. holiday tomorrow so we'll be able to uh you know maybe do a breakfast i think i'm making stock today my plan is to make chicken stock because we oh. roasted a chicken and we still have the carcass yeah yeah so i might make some stock i was also looking into a <laughs> like a um chicken pot pie without the pastry so kind of a chicken pot pie soup with some of our leftovers soup so, jeff boyardee you know i can't guarantee it today but the stock <laughs> I think I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do because we have some like uh vegetables and different things that can pop in there yeah all right Oh, are we, we're going for it? I don't have, have what what other do? things that we, what, we have nothing. to talk about? We went to dinner uh, last night. We did go lovely. to dinner. We had some pizza. Just pizza, great pizza, beer, and, and ice cream. Ice cream, fries. It was tough. <laughs> it was a tough, tough Saturday <laughs> night. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Ready? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Juan's, Juan's ready. ready. Oh. <laughs> Turn to page 26, The Invitation. Today's lesson is called Grapefruit and Games. <laughs> the chapter begins with Harry at the breakfast table with the Dursleys. The relationship between Harry and his family has changed slightly as he is able to strategically use his new relationship with known mass murderer, Sirius Black, to affect his uncle. <laughs> this comes in handy when a piece of mail covered in stamps arrives from Mrs. Molly Weasley. She invites Harry to come stay with her family for the two final weeks of summer, in part to attend the Quidditch World Cup. Harry notes that he will be riding to Sirius, and this causes Uncle Vernon to relent and allow Harry to go. Harry returns to his room jubilant and finds Ron's owl Pigwidgeon bolting about with a letter from Ron declaring they are coming to get Harry no matter what. Beep, 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 beep. Harry responds with Pig, and finishes his note to Sirius with Hedwig, letting him know where he's going to be. <laughs> yeah, it's the invita invitation. We didn't get to invitation. the World Cup. We were yeah, invited. we were debating. We were sort of just thinking about it the other day. Of like, what comes next? Is it the? What comes is next? he gonna be at the Weasleys? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Uh, the Quidditch World Cup. 
Okay, so apparently it's a big deal. In this letter, um, Britain hasn't hosted the Quidditch World Cup in 30 years. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I tried to look up in like five minutes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I tried to look up information about this and... Uh, I found a lot of stuff about Quidditch. As I mean, Quidditch is actually very extensively written about yeah. by J.K. Rowling in in this world. There's like the entire Quidditch Through the Ages book that we have on the shelf back there. Um, and then wizardingworld.com has a lot of things, uh, mm -hmm. including some... Well, actually, they took it down because the transition from Pottermore to Wizarding World hasn't fully happened yet, unfortunately. But... Hmm. The Quidditch World Cup uh, 2014, there was like daily profit reports, Ginny Weasley as a reporter, mm -hmm. and uh, I don't remember if Rita is featured in there as well, but oh anyway, gosh. I know, everyone's Rita. favorite, Rita Skeeter. I can't uh, believe she's around. <laughs> We're going to meet yeah. her soon. So. Uh, Rita will never retire. So it. yeah, the, the um, official guide to the Quidditch World Cup um, produ is produced by the International Confederation of Wizards Quidditch Committee, the mm. ICWQC. <laughs> mm. And uh, you can purchase this official guide from any reputable wizarding bookstore for, can you guess how much? How much would you pay for a guide for the official guide, not just a guide? Ten galleons. 39 galleons. Are you kidding that me? That is so much money. Yeah. Holy cow. 39 galleons. Um, yeah. So it, it says in Because it's, it's official. <laughs> yeah. It says in the Wizarding World, uh, uh, or the, yeah, the Wizarding World entry I found on this that many feel that it's ridiculously overpriced, and I think that we probably agree with that. So the tournament <laughs> has been in place since 1473. And this is this is the thing that will forever annoy me mm. is that supposedly it's been held every four years. How did we get from odd years to even years? Because we're in like 1994. Like, how is this happening? <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. I, that was what I was actually looking for is like at what point? Well, no, once I Maybe found that, was I was like, what happened? Some issue with like the world wars or something. That's that's probably going. likely. But still, like, tell write that in your history. It better be in the official guide for <laughs> to the Quidditch World Cup. You um, better get these years right. I better get the the exact history documented. Um, only European teams competed during the 15th and 16th centuries. Mm. And so... Like how we call it the Baseball World Series, but it's just the U.S. and Canada. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, apparently purists prefer to date the the actual quidditch world cup's inception from the 17th century when it became available to all countries right. so i'm just reading some like little yeah, yeah. the context of yeah, like yeah. how do people feel about the quidditch world cup and yeah. what's going on there um okay the the rule book <laughs> the rule book we've talked about quidditch rules before there's mm. a lot of rules yes, and there's have. a lot of rules that can be broken yes um well, how much is that on sale for? <laughs> so apparently, it is nineteen volumes. Oh my gosh! <laughs> yeah, I know. The Wizarding World is like super extra. That's that's what we're learning here. So uh, apparently, some rules include no dragon is to be introduced into the stadium for any purpose, including but not limited to team mascot, coach, or cup warmer. <laughs> And uh, modification of any part of the referee's body, whether or not he, he or she has requested such modification and will lead to a lifetime ban. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, wait, who did this before? And why is it's like that in How I Met Your Mother, no boogie boarding or whatever. Mm -hmm. And it's like, why is this a rule? Mm -hmm. There's a reason. Something happened and therefore it is now a rule forever, for forever. Um, we know about the statute of secrecy. Yes, we do. So the Statute well of aware. Secrecy was introduced in 1692. So like because 200. Of not because of Quidditch, because of a variety of things. And in particular, the, uh, you know, Salem witch trials and stuff yeah. like that. Was like Quidditch basically contributor? the persecution of witches and wizards. Um, right. I don't, it doesn't say that. It just is kind of like, oh, after the fact. So after the Statute of Secrecy was introduced, um, the International Confederation of Wizards, which um, 
that predates the Ministry of Magic, actually, mm. the International Confederation. So think of them as the wizarding governing body. Uh, they <laughs> they saw the World Cup as a security risk. Unsurprisingly, you have a bunch they of witches it. and wizards. Um, it says that um, they just exclaimed because I'm thinking maybe yeah, this is perhaps perhaps. Well, okay, so then 16. Well, no, it. Let me see. That doesn't quite fit because I have some notable tournaments that are odd numbers. So it's after mm. after 1692. There are odd number mm. years for Quidditch <laughs> Cup. So I don't know. But basically, um, we'll never get to the bottom. Of there this. were ma I know <laughs> there were mass protests. What about the PlayStation? Was it out yet? <laughs> Let's just all at J.K. Rowling and be like, "Hey, <laughs> we have we have some mathematical discrepancy you, an here." An odd plus an even is an odd. And, uh, <laughs> well, and and like so, you know, every four years, a hundred is divisible by four. So like, it's always gonna be like, you know, this is like. When we have our presidential elections mm -hmm. in the United States, mm -hmm. we know it's every four years, and we right. have that sort of structure to be like, yes, this is this is how it works. Right. I don't know. Anyway, twenty is so it's like you're going to have these particular numbers that can be possible for the whatever. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's fine. Um, I love it. So there were mass protests and threats to the International Confederation of Wizards, and then they agreed. So th this was the decision. Then they were like, okay, let's come up with the ICWQC, the, the Quidditch committee thing. Rebrand. Yeah. And uh, to locate venues. And so that's when they started putting them in these Hiding very obscure places. Like, uh, yeah, where were they doing it before? Downtown Paris? I don't know. <laughs> so they instead they're like, oh, let's do it in remote moors, deserts, and deserted islands. Can you imagine Quidditch on a deserted, deserted island? island? Would be great. <laughs> that would be great. Everyone flies in there. Pop. They they also would arrange transportation for spectators, mm -hmm. and police the games themselves. So that was that's the these are the duties of this organ or this like sub. So once every four years they have a job. <laughs> well, they probably have found a way to be like, no, we are necessary in the Justify other three years. Themselves? So like, yes, yeah, okay. we have to plan for good, the fourth good, year. Good, good. <laughs> Okay, how does the tournament work? You have any country can enter a team into the tournament. Um, teams are then divided into sixteen groups, and then you have like every team plays each other within that group. And uh, during this phase, the game length is capped at four hours. At four hours, like the game ends. ends. Even so, if the snitch hasn't been found, that is correct. Sometimes the Big. snitch. That will is not how have the game caught. should always. Be. <laughs> by the way because otherwise yeah, yeah. It, it makes essentially no sense yeah and we will see it actually the scenario that is bonkers happens in this book at the world cup but yes i'm oh right. dear I'm oh dear i'm ready so yeah they cap it at four hours and then um oops and then there is like a point system that happens and then if there's a tie there's like all these like sub things where it's like yeah again Quidditch should just be played like this, but it's not. It's like free for all when it's not when you're not competing for the tournament. But basically, in the case of a tie, the winner is the team who caught the snitch most often or most quickly during its matches. So like your reputation follows you, I guess. Then the final sixteen are ranked according to like the points that you've accumulated during this, mm -hmm. you know, um, process. And then uh, they do like team with the most points, um, plays the team with the least points, second most, second least. So they re, re bracket it. Yeah. So mm -hmm. then it says, in theory, the two best teams will remain to play each other in the final. Mm -hmm. um, that's that's how it works. So leading up to this, we point, might have to cover this again. Yes, as, we in will. One as well, because we it, it's a lot and it's, yeah, it makes sense and you kind of. It's fun to have it fleshed mm -hmm. out. Well, then I think I will save the next section I have. Oh, for... I didn't mean to do that. No, no, no. Okay. For the the chapter where we actually get to. So the, the next section place? is infamous tournaments. Ah. And one of them is in this very book. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but there's some wild stuff Can that happens. The future in the future? In... <laughs> yeah, I know it's going to happen. Uh, yeah, the referees are chosen by the ICWQC. Which actually, I, it made me wonder as I was typing that. I was like, oh, I wonder, like, 
who puts their name in for that sort of thing? Because I imagine that those refs get like death threats and oh, harassment like yes. all the They're time. They're probably jinxed and hexed and attacked. Yeah. Cause I, Lifetime I was, ban be damned. I was going to be like, oh, does would Madam Hooch want to put her name in and be mm. like, yeah, I'll be a quit a referee. Or she's Maybe like, she nah, I'm been. good. I'm good with Hogwarts. <laughs> Neville breaking his yeah, wrist and all yeah. that. <laughs> they, she probably gets enough harassment, you know. Mm-hmm. At least the parents of the kids aren't there. Yeah. Lucius was there. You know, oh, my was, gosh. There is. Okay. S- side. No, this is totally tangent. Mm. Right, so I still play Harry Potter puzzles and spells, which is a match three type game, mobile mm. game. Um, so I don't remember seeing a Lucius icon appear before, but like some, there's like different characters in the game that pop mm-hmm. up. And usually when they fall to the bottom, something happens like Hagrid uh, gives you like little surge yeah, things and whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, Hermione like gets rid of some of the specific things you need, whatever. Yep. Um, Ron has scabbers come in, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And um, so Lucius was in one of the things that I just played, and I was like, oh, what does he do? But he's like rising up to the top, and I was like, that's odd. You lose. <laughs> He started, yeah, he started like um, hexing things for me, and I was like, what? <laughs> And he then, adds the challenge. And then in my after I'm that sure. happened, I was like, of course that would happen. Why did I think something good was going to happen from this person? Fantastic. Anyway, yes, so good. he is the I'm worst. <laughs> I'm glad that you had all of that because this chapter in some sense is still building. There's not that much that happens. We don't learn that much. Yeah, this is basically, oh, yeah, Harry's still at the Dursleys. Let's catch up Dursleys on what exist. it's like. Yeah. <laughs> What and has been going on? Dudley here? is on a diet, and the whole family has to follow the diet. But Aunt Petunia is still giving Harry the smallest piece of grapefruit because of reasons. Because they are bad people. They're, they are the worst humans to people. ever exist. They're really, really bad. They're terrible. And I think it's uh, it's interesting to some extent. Like it's good to see Harry have this power over Vernon. Yeah, and that, that well, whole paragraph was my favorite paragraph of like Harry could see the little cog yeah. turning and there was a line in the previous chapter where uh, it was like Harry uh, conveniently left out that he was that Sirius was innocent. He was innocent. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 he is a murderer. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that's is why a I murderer, wrote, that's why actually, I said or, no one mass murder. No, yeah, but he's actually innocent, so he's not gonna come after i mean sirius would come after the dursleys if he, yeah, he could would. but he would. um there's <laughs> he can't right now so yeah there there were a lot of little details that made me chuckle so the um it wasn't the felly tone with ron no it wasn't not yet yeah. but we did have a molly weasley like covering an entire envelope with stamps except for a little section where she she's like, so right, sweet I that know. whole letter is so nice <laughs> I'm sure it's Harry has told you a lot about our son, Ron. Yeah. It's very no. it's very sweet, like, oh, yes, she's just like a, a little mother. And then it's also very direct, like, um, you know, we'll be, the last line is like, we'll be hearing from you, or like, we're looking forward to, like, there. there's something in the tone of it where it's absolutely Molly Weasley writing this and not... I don't know, just like a filler or be like what it, like Arthur. I can see this. Yeah, yeah. Or JK Rowling for that <laughs> matter. Like it's either. it definitely sounds like Molly Weasley or what Molly Weasley would write to the Dursleys. Mm-hmm. Um so yeah, that was that was great. Uh, but connected to um the the stamp thing, one of the quotes I wrote down was about uh, I think this is what Harry is thinking as as Vernon's basically freaking out because he's he's like showing him this envelope and it says their worst fear was that someone would find out they were connected, however distantly, with people like Mrs. Weasley. And I'm yep. just like, I hate the Dursleys. I hate that. Because- there is, I, it would be fun to look back, but there is a sentence I feel like in my mind every time we talk about the Dursleys. Mm. It's like that their fear, their worst fear is that they people find out about Harry. Yeah. The, I mean, it's it's interesting thinking about you know who and like not being able to say Voldemort and then like their mm-hmm. fear is they don't even say like when Harry Hogwarts. says broomstick, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that the one that sets off Mr. Dursley? Broomstick is. Broomstick. So Harry caught himself because he was going to say broomstick. Hogwarts Express, but then he he realized like what was about to happen. And so he didn't. He said like, oh, to take us to the school or whatever. Mm-hmm, he like re- mm-hmm, rephrases mm-hmm. it. On the train. Because he, he train. knows that yeah. um, 
he knows how to code switch basically of like yeah that's right that's i don't right. i don't want to set these people these abusive intense terrible people off because yeah, we'll see red yeah it's it's bad it you know yeah i mean fear is the describe is like the defining characteristic of of all three of them i feel like mm -hmm. maybe not dudley as much but the parents for sure Mm -hmm. Like that is their that when I think about them, I think about them as fear leading to the dark side. Mm -hmm. And it's interesting because at some <laughs> point we'll learn sort of no, about uh, Petunia in particular. I, yeah. And even as a kid, she seems to be driven by fear quite a bit. It's interesting to think about the road less traveled. Like what, you know, what if circumstances were different? Would she have turned out differently? Hard to tell. Yeah, I feel, I mean, fear for sure. But I mean, with her specifically, somewhat jealousy, probably. Yeah, yeah. and loss. But then all, and Grief. loss, yeah. yes. So like that third piece, I think is, um, that's like where it, for her, for Petunia specifically, it gets buried deep. It's like, it's this very complicated and it, it comes it it beco it comes out um, in it's very ugly scary. ways. It's it's yes, because she Petunia doesn't. I mean, she has some moments, but Vernon is often depicted as the the ticking time bomb of like he will explode at you. Like mm -hmm. look, Harry is often in these confrontations with Vernon. I guess is another way to put mm -hmm. it in my memory more so than Petunia, even though she does have her, she has her sort of like, I'm trying to keep it together because that's like all she craves is this like normal front. And so even the sort of like the grapefruit situation where Vernon's just like, rr, rr, and she's just kind of like, you know, yeah. a pointed look like yep. there's there's these things where she could she could act differently, but she is trying to keep it together. And I, I feel like that is um, even though most of us don't have siblings who were witches and then murdered by a, an evil dark wizard. But there there are example or like there are moments of like just people also. You know, we we do this in different ways of the like distancing or avoidance or like not saying what we really want to say to to try to keep it, keep the peace, keep it together or keep keep that um, performativity going. So I, I had a distant look because as you were talking, a thought occurred to me that's occurred to me before, but I've never actually looked at this. And I'm wondering if maybe you have or maybe we can at some point. Mm. What has happened I'm going to assume that all four of Harry's grandparents are dead. Yeah, we've talked about this before. Yeah, but do we know what has happened I, to them? Um, like in Harry's, particular, the Potters, because they would yeah. have died very young. I think wizards. that they got uh, dragon pox. And that's dragon why they're so pox. rich, is that they have they have like the inheritance of... Uh, w wasn't that something we looked up? The Potters. I mean, yeah, but it's the whole family, because oh they go gosh. all the way back to... I'm going to have to call up Brita from Witches Unite, because it's, it's funny, she she like tweeted the other day that we, we have these moments where we ask questions, and she's like super fan. She knows like some of the obscure like <laughs> trivia, and I'm like, okay. <laughs> okay. 43% of the Potters inheritance was in a 401k. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's... Yeah, no, we just well, I was just thinking about over. like, because <laughs> even Lily and Petunia's parents must also be gone. They're never in the story, right? I don't think so. No. Anyway, I was just thinking about like Harry. That's, that yeah, the fact that Harry went from like. Uh, being attacked by the strongest dark wizard in an age to being having to live with these people is like unbearable. <laughs> Which is yeah. worse? <laughs> yeah. The scar or the, um, the ant? So Harry's like exchange with Vernon also. So I had like a brief moment where I was kind of, I know he's he's not eleven. I keep thinking of him as an eleven, like a little he's eleven year old. He, like, yeah, right he's gonna he's fourteen because his he just had his birthday, right? Because it's year four. 14. Okay, so there was a brief moment where I was like, "Oh my god, Harry is so manipulative right here." Like I know that because it, I had this very complicated feeling of like I know Vernon is like not great, but I still like felt weird about well, this sort of like. 
He, he's yeah, he's yeah. yeah. And so I was just kind of like, oh no, because I mean, no one is perfect, obviously. So, but it it was just like a moment where. Harry knew exactly what he was doing. I had a similar to, thought. To get what he wanted. And I was able to, however hypocritically, completely <laughs> forgive Harry for his uh, lying. Yeah. Yeah. Like it, or sin, sin of omission. It's kind of a... Yeah, I guess it is. It is like, yeah, it's just not entirely honest. It's like, it's... And I, I He's also, get out of there. I also agree. Like I, I know that I, um, I talk to people differently because I know it's going to be heard differently, or it's going to have a different outcome if I say something in a particular way, or if I emphasize something more than something else. Um, in conversation, I know that it's going to probably direct the conversation in a different way than if I didn't, and so. It's normal, but it it was just a very brief like I don't know. I kind of I because because it's rooted in fear. I think that's what made me a little like pause a little bit is that Vernon, even though he is you know pretty violent in the, in his like just existence, especially when it comes to the Wizarding World, he's like deeply terrified of it. Yeah, and so it feels kind of bad. Mm -hmm all around just the, this whole situation like the situation harry is in of course yeah. um what i what i find really interesting is that he even knows about it it's kind of like um like that petunia didn't hide it from him mm. and i don't know if we know for sure when she told him well, Was he would like have to know about like when why Lily did and Lily James die? Yeah, married or something. Or, or yeah, yeah, that, that probably before then. Because they pr probably had a they probably like wedding. stopped. Because now I'm wondering like how how much in contact were the they? They out. probably yeah. Because it could have been before then. Yeah. And it could have been like oh you have a sister like or. or it could have been like a couple of different things. Like he never knew she had a sister. And then it was like, oh, why is this baby on our doorstep? You know? <laughs> right. And then she told them the whole story. Or it could have been like, oh, yeah, I have a sister, but we don't talk about her. And then through the course of, you know, they are humans as terrible as they are. They are humans and had some sort of courtship, even though it seemed like it was a very dull courtship. But like, you know, getting to know each other sort of like, yeah, I have a sister. We don't talk about it. Why? Oh, because she's a witch. Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I am i don't know their story. But I'm always interested in when I read read is how the Dursleys aren't that big of a part of the story when, when it comes to like true word count say like hmm. but they somehow loom mm -hmm. in my mind like because I think they well, loom you have in a Harry's good, mind. a good foundation in the first book. You do. And then because you have such like they are very yes because it they're looms the foil. In, in Harry's mind. And they're the first foil. They even just a brief like callback of like at the end of last book when he had the remembered that oh no I can't go to Sirius's I'm going back to the Dursleys you have that context from the first book of like that foundation you know how terrible they are mm -hmm. and every time you see them it's always the same thing it's always something terrible or something just ridiculous so any callback to that is still like that reminder of this is who they are uh they're just they're just not good it's not a good place to live Poor Harry. No, it isn't. Yeah. And 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 then uh, he gets a letter from Ron. So this is I love I I don't I love sassy Hedwig. I love how Hedwig just like I don't you are you little That's other birds. Default. Yeah. So she hates the tall Slight little lanky annoyance. the lanky yeah the the tropical the bird. bird. Mm -hmm. She hates a pig. You just like calm down and then i love the description of she She's like winston she <laughs> she she holds her leg out like like a bird should proper you know like oh i i i'm a good Dignified. bird you know exactly it's just so funny are that you up for a long trip <laughs> yes i am i'm the only bird for harry potter oh uh, every time i i read hedwig i always like this is this is Rip. Yes, this is like the worst. This is the worst. <laughs> Knowing what happens in the future, and I'm just yeah. like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> it's 
Speaking of Hedwig. <laughs> when he's like, are you guys dumb? Can yeah, I, can you stop talking me? about other people's pets? <laughs> but this is exciting. Yeah, so Harry's going to get out of the Dursleys. There's only a couple of weeks left, it feels like, in the summer session here. And uh, he has let Sirius know that he's going to the Weasleys and going to the World Cup. Oh, yeah, because Ron's like, we're coming either way. I love that. <laughs> just like, it's yeah, my favorite. It's yeah, so cute. It's so he's cute. He's like, we're going to pick well, you up on the fifth, and if they say no, we're going to pick you up on the well, fifth. Well, that's so funny because, like, the, the letter, so going back to Molly's letter, like, Ron's probably in conversation, and Molly, again, like, it, it's her words are chosen precisely. Like, yes. Like, she... I mean, we, she probably knows the context. Yes. Ron probably has told her more than well, Harry you, ever has about the And you can tell the in the letter that she is sensitive mm. to the fact that the Dursleys are going to be sensitive to certain words. Mm -hmm. So she like says that in the normal way as in opposed to by way. owl. Yeah. I mean, that it's maybe is just like how she would say it, but, but there's more stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot. Of yeah. course... What she maybe knew but can't avoid is that no matter what, the Dursleys are going to get set off by this. Yeah. So yeah. it was the stamps, but it doesn't I matter. I hope I put no enough stamps. Oh, yeah. oh, my God. And then it's, Harry's it's just weird. like, well, looks collapsed. like looks like she, so put, she put enough. enough on there, <laughs> oh, Harry. Sassy lightning boy. <laughs> but we're in, we're in it now. This is going to be good. We're going to be back in the wizarding world. Chapter oh, well, four, yeah, we will be in the wizarding world. We won't be at Hogwarts yet, but. Nope. Maybe even more exciting to be it's, doing uh, wizarding world stuff outside of Hogwarts. Yeah. But it, not no Hogsmeade's be. stops. It'll be exciting. Yeah. Yes. The fourth or, uh, book is the turning. Diagon. The turning. The turning point. A lot happens in this book. It is a brick. It's yeah, it, uh, is, it so is much. it's so much it's text. so much yeah <laughs> we're gonna be like in chapter thirty and it's gonna be like oh uh you know the triwizard cup is about to happen <laughs> it's yeah like, wait what <laughs> <laughs> no it's great yeah until next time until next time one's, one's ready. ready.